Good afternoon. Are you ready for a small experiment first? I would like you to take your telephone, just like the Airbnb CEO recently did. Could you please unlock it and hand it over to the person left of you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel it? <laughs> This feels really scary, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now you can give it back. You've had that feeling. <laughs> yeah, you too, huh? <laughs> Return it. This, everybody. This is exactly what happens with your information on the internet every day of any of you, hundreds of thousands of copies with your personal data reside on the internet. No way you know all these places. No way you know what this information is used for. And no way this information of you is accurate. On the internet, a handful of organizations know everything about us. And knowledge is power, so the ones that know you, they have power over you. And I think that it's scary that that power is in the hands of some commercial organizations. I believe that just like in the real world, we need a safe place where we can be ourselves, in freedom, and from where we are able to connect with the rest of the world, who we really are, on our own terms. That's why we are investing all our time and money for our big dream. We dream of an internet, of a world in which each individual is back in control of his own information again. And we found a way to do this. So why don't we turn the data stream completely around and store all your information in one? central place, which only you can access, and which only you decide whom to give insight to. Insight that's multiple, encrypted, digital safe, you can store anything, ranging from real simple addresses to the most complex financial medical records. And the information you do choose to give insight to can never be transferred, copied or souls, and it's always up to date. We know we have a long journey to take, so we plotted out a roadmap to work along. First of all, we're talking to companies, big corporates, to invite them to join the founding organization for the development of Schluss, together world with world-renowned technical experts. This united effort is important for success, to keep Schluss independent and trustworthy. We are already talking to a bank, an insurance company, and a telco. But at the same time, we realize that this route takes time. So, therefore, we are setting up pilots to learn and to validate on techniques, communications, UX, and to help these companies comply to GDPR and PSD2. This will be B to B to C. And we are really happy and feel at place in the pilot we are running with ICTU, the development partner of the government, together with KPN, Rabobank, Chamber of Commerce. And this pilot will be on the blockchain with Timeless. And we are also happy to cooperate on a pilot with the Volksbank. And next month, we will sign an agreement to run pilots with an insurance company and an energy company. But how will we actually really make it work in the techniques? You must be curious. We have our beta version online in which we have the technique core principles of Schluss already working. And from that beta version on, we will further develop Schluss in these pilots in steps. Then in the first step, Schluss will then be your peephole through which you can see what information a company has of you. And in the second stage, you will then be able to correct and adapt that information at that company. 
In a third stage, you can then manage the usage of that information by that company. And in the last stage, finally, all your information will be transferred from that company to your own digital sluice safe. So your sluice safe also fills itself with information, which you are then be able to disclose to others as well, people, parties, etc. Our business model is really simple. We charge each sluice user a fair yearly amount once sluice is fully operational. We are Schluss. We will make this happen. Together with Techie Bob, we're the founders of Schluss. But Bert and Simon, Peter, Mitzi, Roger, they are contributing largely as well. With their, together we share a big knowledge of business development, consultancy and techniques. But we share our mission with great visionaries in their area, like Jaya Balu of KPN, CISO of the year 2015. We are really proud to have her in our advisory board, together with Mark Wesselink. And Rob Reeve, MFS, COO of Fimplecom, helps us largely with his network and his knowledge. People at this level catch on. They understand what we are working on, and they tell me this is the way we should protect our data and that of our children. Jaya, she couldn't be here, but she left us a special message. The reason I believe in Schluss is because it enables privacy by design. It gives users control again over their own data. This is something that we so desperately need in order to feel free while using all of our internet technologies and capabilities. That's nice, huh? Thanks. Together, we can change the internet. That's why we are making our software available in open source. So we are building, <laughs> thank you, because we are building a community, a movement, a global cooperative where each Schluss user is co-owner to ensure that Schluss will be and always remains that independent, trusted third party. Do you also think, all think that this is important as well? Yeah. So now it's time to act. Today we're calling out for founding partners, organizations and companies determined, just like us, to make Schluss happen. Let's develop Schluss together and introduce it from the Netherlands to Europe and the rest of the world. Together, we can do this. And we will make our dream come true. Because with Schluss, you, and only you, decides who knows what about you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.